Hi, my name is Jordan Call, and I'll be going over the introduction of this project. This project involves locating the source of an RF signal, but specifically 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. The current problem with these direction finding equipment is that it's very large and heavy, so we aim to produce a much smaller system that can run this program. The scope involves developing a direction finding application that will operate on a smaller embedded system. The main objective is to focus on the optimization of direction finding algorithms and the main algorithm of choice is the music algorithm, but we may add more to it. Hi, my name is Garrett Warren, and I'm going to be discussing the work that has been completed on the project. Completed tasks include the choice of a direction-finding algorithm and initial hardware testing, and in-progress tasks include collecting Wi-Fi data using a stationary router and a software-defined radio, or SDR. The figure in the top right demonstrates the setup for data collection, and the figure in the bottom right shows how the SDR is used to measure the signal strength. This progress is important because the data will be filtered and then run through a direction finding algorithm. Furthermore, the project schedule has changed due to each member needing their own hardware and work being performed online. Finally, the cost of new hardware that has been ordered does not exceed the budget for the project. And this graph on this slide demonstrates some data that has been collected for a specific Wi-Fi network and the strength of the signal depending on the angle of the software defined radio. Thank you. Plans for future work. Before the end of the semester, we will finish gathering our preliminary data. We will refine our machine learning algorithm for a stationary router low noise scenario. And if time permits, we will train our algorithm for more complex situations. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the final demo will have to be virtual. The demonstration will consist of a stationary router located in the middle of the room the device will be moved around the router and the device will locate it as it moves. This simple demonstration will be the easiest way to show functionality in a virtual environment. More complicated direction finding scenarios may be shown using pre-gathered data. However, this will be hard to visualize. For example, a router in another room. While the original goal of this project was to create a smartphone application running self-made software, it has now changed to creating a program which will run on a computing system uh, due to the constraints of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, while this original goal had the intention of alleviating the use of direction-finding equipment larger than a smartphone, this new goal does allow for the increased efficiency of the program, uh, as the time of it would take to develop the smartphone application will now be able to be used to improve the algorithms. The last measure taken to ensure everybody's safety is the shipping of hardware to each team member in order to have everyone independently record data and develop the direction finding program. Uh, all other collaboration will continue to remain online and will do so until conditions improve.